In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up Square on your WooCommerce store so that you can take payments on both your Square site and your WooCommerce site. Or if you just wanna set up Square payments to be a payment method with your WooCommerce site, you can as well as sync inventory between both systems if that is something that you are doing. You also will be able to set up Apple Pay and Google Pay as well as have support for WooCommerce subscriptions and other plugin add-ons with your WooCommerce store. So let's jump into it. But first, if you're new here, make sure to click that like, click that, that subscribe, and all the links in this video can be found in the description box below. Okay, let's jump into it. So first, I'm going to create a Square account. If you've already done this and you have a Square account, you can proceed to the next chapter. But with that, I'm gonna go through this process. Awesome, and you can either choose individual or business. For me, I'm just gonna choose business and go through this whole setup process. Awesome, so the next step, I'm going to add in my specialty shop because I'm selling coffee online in my WooCommerce store. And recently, I also am going to use the Square POS to sell that coffee that I'm selling. I have like dark roast, medium roast, light roast, as well as like a coffee grinder and some new flavors such as decaf and French roast. So right here, I'm gonna use like the free point of sale and I also want to add in online checkout. I think it might just be this, but you can skip this. It's not really um, beneficial, but I also wanna use gift cards eventually. And I'm gonna skip this and I'm gonna start taking payments online. Before taking payments online, I need to verify my identity. So I'm gonna add in my first name, last name, phone number, date of birth, email, and address. Awesome, so it's successfully verified my identity and now I can link my bank account number right now if I want to and I will do that at a later time. For now, I just wanna set up payments on my store. And if you're interested in getting like a, a square reader or to use like a reader for on your phone like this. You can choose these, but for now, I'm gonna skip and resume the tutorial. So I'm just gonna skip to the dashboard, and with that, I'm gonna go to my WooCommerce dashboard, and I'm gonna go to Plugins, Add New, and I'm gonna upload the Square plugin, and you can find that link in the description box below, as well as the promo link for Square as well. So after activating the WooCommerce Square plugin, I now can connect it with Square right here to start taking payments on my store, start taking credit card payments, start taking Apple Pay and Google Pay, etc. Awesome. So I'm going to click connect with Square and it's going to take me to the screen up here. WooCommerce is requesting permission to do the following and I'm going to click allow. And now I'm going to be redirected back to my WooCommerce site. And now I can choose, you know, my business location right here. And that's an active location. And then right now I'm not gonna sync product data. Um, I might get into that later in this video or another video, but essentially if you already have using like the Square POS app or using selling products with Square and you're just setting up your WooCommerce store and you wanna sync the inventory, click Square. If you're just selling everything on WooCommerce and you want your WooCommerce inventory to replicate in Square, if you're just gonna use like the Square, you know, tablet maybe at a trade show or at your local coffee shop, you can choose Square. When in doubt, if you're using probably the Square iPad app or their point of sale system or their, you know, those cardless readers, I would use Square. But if you're just getting set up right now, I would use do not sync product data and you can look at the inventory later on. Right now, we're just worried about getting payments set up. Awesome, and you also can choose to import all products from Square, and this would be a scenario where you have you know, everything on Square and you wanna import products into your WooCommerce store. For now, we're not gonna import any products. It's just gonna import like the product name, image, um, description, SKU, and um, inventory. So I'm gonna save these changes and now if I go to my payment screen, I can see Square and I'm gonna bring it up to here. I'm gonna click Save Changes and I'm gonna go to Setup and now I'm gonna enable this gateway. 
So after enabling this gateway, and I also want to enable tokenization to allow customers to use like WooCommerce subscriptions. If you haven't seen my Wooco WooCommerce subscriptions tutorial, you can see that link in the description box below or in the card somewhere. And I also want to enable digital wallets for Apple Pay or Google Pay so my customers can easily check out on the product card or checkout pages. And if I also wanted to add or like hide one of these, I could. I'm going to save my changes. If I come down here, these detailed decline messages. If you want to show a detailed decline message, you could, such as like why specifically a customer's card didn't work. For now, I'm going to leave that off and I'm going to also leave the bug off. So with that, I have everything set up. And the next step I need to do is I need to do a test transaction on my WooCommerce store using a live credit card to make sure everything is working properly and functioning. So I'm gonna open up an incognito window and I'm gonna go through a test transaction on my um, Charlie's Coffee Co. store using Square Payments. So I'm gonna open up the incognito window and I'm opening up the incognito window and I'm gonna go to my shop and I'm gonna quickly go through the checkout process. And as you can see, I have Google Pay and Apple or Google Pay and Apple Pay enabled on my Safari browser. You can check your iPhone settings or whatever you wanna do or your Google Pay settings to do that. But right now I'm just gonna use a real credit card so you guys can understand how it's all working and how it all works. So I'm gonna fill out my billing details and then fill out my card number. Awesome, so I successfully entered my credit card data and entered all my details and I was able to process a payment successfully. And if I go back to my um, WooCommerce dashboard and go to my orders page, I can click into this page and I can see that a square charge was approved, right? And I also could look up this transaction ID if I wanted to back in my Square dashboard. This would be in transactions, right? And I can see this order, order 293. If I come back to here, it's order 293. But anyways, you can see that it's for order 293 and order 293 is right here. And I also be able to see some more details about um, the receipt. So now we've successfully set up our Square account. We've also successfully linked it with our WooCommerce store. And we also have done a test transaction with a live credit card to make sure everything's working. So at this point, you're all ready to set up to start accepting payments from all different types of customers. And I also wanna go over how to enable the sandbox mode, because I think it's important in Square. So you could use the sandbox mode to do testing, so you can use um, basically test credit card numbers that will function as live credit card numbers on your store. And this overall just is a good way just to test if you're on a sandbox environment. So with that, I want to enable the plugin to in sandbox mode and then I'm going to click save. And I need to get a developer account with Square and I can also easily just open this up, this page up in a new tab. And I'm just going to quickly add an application name, something like this. And I can open this um, sandbox payment and I can just copy the sandbox application ID and the access token back into these two settings. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna set my default test account right here. And I'm gonna save my changes. So now I have connected my Sandbox account and I'm gonna do a test transaction using the Sandbox credit card number test values. So with that, I'm gonna open up an incognito window and I'm gonna go to Charlie's Coffee Co. And I'm just gonna go through this checkout process. So in this case, I wanna get, you know, medium roast and I'm just gonna do three. And I'm also just gonna come down here and get, you know, decaf. And let's just get one more, maybe light roast again. Awesome. So I could use these subscribe and saves if I wanted to. And once again, we see Google Pay. Right now we're in uh, sandbox mode, so I'm just gonna proceed to check out, but you should be able to test those pretty easily just using your browser. A tip if you're testing this on live sites might be to just update a product to $1 for a couple of minutes while you do a real test transaction with a live credit card. Right now we're using a fake credit card. So with that, I'm just gonna fill out all these billing details and use a fake credit card number and I'll link what like credit card, fake credit card numbers you can use when you're in sandbox mode. Okay, I'll just say this is like, you know, like Kevin 
Garnett. And let's just do, and with Square, when you're testing payments in sandbox mode, you can use you know this credit card number format with any expiration date and, and, and this card security code is 111. So I'm gonna place this order. Awesome, and this order has been received and now we're in business. I successfully did a test um, transaction with a sandbox account and we're in business. So I also can view this um, sandbox account if I just open this and I can see you know, other things related to this sandbox account if I wanted to. And with that, I'm gonna navigate back to my WooCommerce dashboard and I'm gonna unset the plugin to be in sandbox mode because I want to use um, my live account and now I'm in business. If I come back to my WooCommerce site and let's say I do, um, I go to you know, like the checkout process, I can see that it's using um, a real test transaction and a real credit card numbers and you'll be able to process payments on your WooCommerce store. So that's it for today, guys. If you guys got value out of this video, make sure to click the like, click the subscribe and check out all the promo links I have in the description box to use to set up your Square account and set it up to configure with your WooCommerce store so you can start accepting payments for orders on your WooCommerce store, subscriptions, etc. So have a great rest of your day. Peace.